Okay, we've talked their crew, they know here or there they are a, a, a top team, and so Well, it's uh, even playing ground for everybody. Um, you know, it's the first time the trucks have been on this track ever. And then they also threw a brand new course at everybody this weekend. So even if you race here in a side-by-side, -side, you still don't have any experience with this track. So um, it's definitely tough, it's technical. So if you're gonna make a pass, you either hope for a mistake or you gotta try and move them. So it's, uh, it's definitely gonna be tough racing, but um, as long as you get the start, hopefully you can run away with it. New track, clean slate, and we learn fast. I mean, usually once we go to a new track, we're pretty high up on top of the board in the first practice. So I'm excited to get out there and excited to see what it's all about. In the side by side, you can run whatever your line you want and it will stick. With this pro light, if you're on the bottom and it's super slick, you'll just spin out. So you gotta get up there in that fluffy stuff and just try to stay in the fluff. Hey guys, we're right here at Jay, Oklahoma at Memorial Day weekend. So far the facility's been amazing. I mean, look what all the people that come out here, the track's been great. We've been having a great time out here. There's nothing like this in off-road racing that we have. So it's really cool to see uh, and come out here and see that so many people still care about the sport and are trying to grow it. I think it being in a bowl and, and be able to see everything on the track is super unique. I don't think that we have that in uh, our, trip, our type of racing. So it's extremely unique to look at something like that and it looks like a ton of fun to race and drive. Yeah, so we miss the first round, um, so we're gonna try and make it to all of them. Um, obviously, we are here at round two. So, Mid America is cool. Um, it is my first time here, and we got here I think on Thursday, and I was I was in in impressed. Um, it's a cool spot. There's a pool here, a restaurant, and a store, and of course, a track. So coming from somebody who's in motocross and at Missouri that we had a, a rolling start and then coming to something that a land rush, it brings back that rush, adrenaline and excitement that okay, all of us are on the line and anybody's gonna make it and all dive to the same spot in that turn. So it creates a, an adrenaline rush for everybody involved. It's just a great time and the fact that we get to do it out here in Oklahoma at this series and at this track for the first time is just such a great experience. Oh, look at this, we got a little bit of uh, ribbons action here coming on there. We pulled the whole shot a little bit and then Kyle and Rosales got by me and it was just a dog fight after that. Pretty good, but it's Kyle Greaves, the KGB, out front as he establishes with the whole shot. Yeah. There, but it looks like Connor Berry actually has moved up into that third position with Holcher. Holcher trying to hound on Connor Berry, the CBR truck, the Holcher racing machine there. We were in second fighting with Connor. Rosales, he, he made a mistake in turn one, so I got, I got under him. Yes, and look at Connor Berry is definitely right on Jacob Rosales' tail. Connor Berry battling right now, trying to make the pass there. Moving into second place, getting by Rosales. Wow, great job by Kyle Greaves, getting out front, staying out front. Connor Berry in that number two spot. But Connor Berry, he was, he was moving. I could watch him out my window, and I would, I would give myself a little bit of a gap, and then I would just maintain it, not pull the tires off. And, and just run a smooth race. Kyle Breeze has the fastest lap time of the day so far at the 105.432. Jacob Rosales just a little bit of time to catch up, but Jacob Rosales is not behind Connor Berry just now. That was Johnny Holcher behind him. There he is on the screen. The back end of his truck is shaking pretty oh, bad. He's got pace. a blown right rear and the tire is shredded. And then, unfortunately, we blew out a tire. Um, that just happens, it's a part of racing. But we had a good, strong run. I mean, the guys out here, there may not be many, but the five people that are out here are all fast drivers. What a great race that was just put on by our pro-light drivers. Kyle Greaves in that number one spot. Connor Berry, two. 
Johnny Holter third, Kane and Baker fourth, and Jacob Rizal's in that number five position. What an amazing race we just had out here for our pro light trucks. Yeah, of course, this is only day one. we got another race day tomorrow. I think out here, I think it's just pretty even. I think Barry's really fast. He was a rookie like me last year, and this year, you know, we're racing against and we're keeping up with people like Johnny, who's a pro light champion, and Kyle, Kyle's Kyle. Uh, this track is definitely a technical driver's track. You gotta be on your game every single lap, corner, jump, everything. So, driver's track for sure. The track this weekend was definitely something we don't get to see a lot. It's different, but it's fun and it's challenging and it, it's something new to start thinking about on how to be better. You know, I, I like the technicality of it. Um, the switchbacks, you, you really have to understand what you're going to do with the truck before you get to the next corner. And while you're, while you're sliding through this one, you don't want to get too wide because it'll mess your next corner up. And then it keeps messing you up through, from there on. And um, it's all about just finding the flow. Personally, I love it. I'm not all for one, well, let's just go over jumps and go straight the entire time. I like the S section, I like going up and down because it makes a lot of errors for other drivers. When the perfect driver goes through, they're going to make it and they're going to win. So it's everybody else's catch-up game. So personally, I love these tracks. I think it shows who's really out here to drive or not. And I think that Pastrana maybe said it best when he was also doing this track. This is a driver's track. And on that counter Perry, up on his lid, out of that turn as he heads by. Oh my goodness. That is so unfortunate. Connor Berry running in that number two spot. Oh no. in that number two spot with Rosales in third and this is where skill and experience come into play. I feel like we stand pretty well especially considering what we did last year in these classes racing against these same guys and coming out this year and we show that the truck could compete. We were in second in Missouri, we were third or second in Missouri the second day, we were second or third yesterday, we just keep having bad luck on our side. Oh no, off the pace I just saw the corner of my eye, Jacob Rosales. Unfortunately, we just didn't have the luck again this weekend. And first day, we had a blown tire, and unfortunately today, power steering started to go out at the beginning of the race, and then we couldn't even finish the race at the end, just too hard to turn. And then there were two. So now it's just all about finish. Johnny Holter knows he has that guaranteed number two spot right now, but anything can happen. Here he goes, MRT, can -Am, start, finish, checker flag, goes to Kyle Briggs. I think was gloves off for some people. Pretty it was a tire tire firing dead straight. I'm not sure what went on between them. I just saw that Kreese was off the track. On the end, I was going for the lead and just, I, I'd say it was a racing incident. The track officials are saying different, but we'll see how it turns out. It's still under review, review right now. He can run up on the back bumper. I'm okay with that, but he touches him and turns him around. The question now is, how does race control view that? 